Today's video is sponsored by GVG Mall, where you can get a Windows 10 serial key for only $17. And by using my discount code, you get a 20% off discount, making it even less $14. After the payment, you'll receive the serial key, and to activate it, just go to your Windows settings and introduce that same key. And voila! You have an activated system for only $14. Hello guys, this is Game Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and today we have another video, this time once again about the adrenaline drivers, in this case the 20.8.2, 20, .2, 20 the year, 8 the month and 2 the revision in that month. And this time I have a funny experience. So okay, let's start from the beginning. As I said before, 20.4.2 were the best drivers, were the best that I experienced, that I tested so far which are the recommended, the other versions are still optional and as for now I do not see AMD putting another driver, at least the 20.8.1, 20.8.2 20 as recommended, but well, what I mean is 20.4.2 was the best driver, okay, or is, was, whatever, um, and then I tested the 20.5.1 which had black screens, at least for me, 20.7.1 was okay, but with a broken free sync, 20.7.2 the same and 20.8.1 the same, still broken free sync, no blue screens, no black screens, but broken free sync. Now, I first tested the 20.8.2 with the RX 5600 XT on my main build and it went really, really damn great, smooth, no crashes, no blue screens, no black screens, free sync working. 100% seriously, everything smooth, everything fine, everything. Every, every. After that I returned my, my RX 5600 XT to my secondary build and, take off, and took off the, this 5700 XT to put it back on my, main, on my main build. Basically I changed the RX 5600 XT for the 5700 XT uh, as it was in the beginning, okay? After that I did what I always do, so it was a new card, okay, still AMD, but it was a new card, so to be sure, I uninstalled the chipset drivers, used DDU to actually clean the drivers, installed the drivers again, after a restart, of course, a reboot, installed the drivers, reboot, chipset drivers, reboots, and now let's test. It happens that, well, FreeSync was still broken. So, FreeSync was broken on the RX 5700 XT, but it was not broken on the 5600 XT. Strange, drivers are the same, monitor is the same, build is the same, the only thing that changes is the GPU. This was the first one, so I actually thought, okay, maybe a bad driver installation, I will try again. So, after that, I actually tried the AMD cleanup utility, uninstall the drivers, same process, chipset drivers, install drivers, chipset drivers, blah blah blah, and test it again. So the FreeSync was still broken even after all this work. FreeSync was still broken with the RX 5700 XT. After that, and I know this may be boring, but after that I was playing a game to test the FreeSync, another game, I think it was... Uh, it was not Strange Brigade, it was the Rock Company. It was Rock Company, I was testing it and suddenly my PC starts black screening, uh, it crashes, it crashes to death, I had to force shut down the PC, then I reboot and my Windows installation was broken. I couldn't simply begin the Windows, I couldn't simply boot the PC to Windows. I even tried to to kind of recover the, the boot, so repair the startup, the startup do a installation repair, nothing fixed. Windows, nothing fixed it. Windows was completely broken. So I actually had to, to install Windows all over again and this installation had like one month because I, I thought it, it was time to actually install Windows again. And now after one month, I am installing Windows once again. Windows, apps, uh, software, everything. Um, as I posted on my community, on my community tab, for example, yes, uh, and I'm kind of getting tired of it. But well, I did a clean installation of, of Windows, 
I installed the drivers again, chipset drivers 20.8.2 and guess what? Yes, FreeSync was still broken. FreeSync was still broken with the 20.8.2 even after a clean Windows installation. Um, so yeah, everything works fine. I mean, everything works fine and the FreeSync is actually working way better, way better than with the 20.7.2, 20.8.1. FreeSync, I, I, I can actually say that after the 20.4.2, 20.8.1 has the best working FreeSync. The only thing that you kind of noticed on the FreeSync on the 20.8.2 with the RX 5700 XT is that, that bottom line of the screen, so um, on the top and on the middle of the screen, the FreeSync works perfectly. But on that, on that part on the bottom, it has kind of tearing, but just on that part, so just on the bottom of the monitor. The other parts work completely fine. Uh, funny enough, it only happens in some games, so in most games FreeSync is now working properly, but in others it has that small tearing in the bottom of the screen. So, overall the driver works fine, the performance is fine, no stutters, no breaks, no blue screens, no black screens, nothing. The driver is fine, but, I mean, I don't know what, what to actually say because the driver caused my PC to crash and literally fucked up my Windows installation. But at the same time, the driver is working fine now. Um, it has like a minor, a, mi a minor stuttering, a minor tearing, I mean, that you can't even notice unless you are looking directly at it. So, I don't even know what to say if it is good or bad, but in my opinion, if 20.4.2 drivers are still working with, for you, do not change. Do not use 20.4.2 because they are stable, they are fine, the performance is fine, so do not move to 20.8.2 unless you have problems on the 20.4.2. That's my opinion. And yeah, overall, that was the experience. I mean, I, I really don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say, so it crashed my PC, it has FreeSync almost working perfectly, almost, uh, but overall still works fine and for most users like I saw on my community tab works fine, but for me it has still the FreeSync problem. For now 20.4.2 it is, so the April drivers are still the recommended ones. Pfft, great. And that's all for today guys, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot, it really does. And also, um, leave a comment in the comment section and tell me your experience with these drivers, if it works fine, if it doesn't work fine. Also, my Vega 56 on my brother's PC is also working fine with 20.8.2. It doesn't have FreeSync, but it is working fine, no crashes, no blue, no blue screens, no black screens, nothing. So, it seems fine so far. And well, to end the video, let's see a comparison between 20.4.2 and 20.8.2 in two games. Uh, a side by side comparison to see if anything changes. Thanks a lot and see you in the next one. In that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here?